Hey there, Foundry Church. My name is Eric Bazan, and I'll be reading today's devotion. To understand this week's story, we need to look at the Old Testament. In the book of Leviticus, God laid out many rules and guidelines for his people. These covered everything from crimes committed against someone to mold found in one's home. These laws were given to God's chosen people for their protection. They were given to set them apart from other nations, and they were given to show that no one can live up to the perfect law. One of these laws, found in Leviticus 15, speaks of a woman having a continuous flow of blood. This would make the woman unclean until the condition stopped. Anyone who came into contact with her or with anything she had touched would also be unclean. At the end of the condition, the woman could make the appropriate sacrifice and be restored to the community. But what if the condition lasted for years? This is where we find our sister in the New Testament. She had been suffering from such a condition for 12 years. She had spent all her money on doctors and on old wives' tales. Can you imagine the loneliness? No one could come near her. We don't know if she had a husband or children or grandchildren, but if she did, they had long lost touch. Literally, no one could touch her without being declared unclean themselves. There are many types of waiting waiting for a job, a child, a second chance, a spouse. We wait to understand what God wants our next steps to be. But waiting for healing carries with it a particular exhaustion and sense of dejection. Sometimes it causes us to question God's love. Whether the healing you seek is physical or emotional, during this week, lay all expectations and efforts down and seek Him alone. And that's it. Thank you, Foundry Church, for joining me in today's devotion. I hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya.